Anytime Mark Hamill talks about Luke Skywalker and his future in the franchise, that should raise antennas. We should be cognizant of what is happening with the biggest Star Wars character of all time. I mean, that's definitely something that is subjective, but to me, in my world, Luke Skywalker is my Superman. I am a Luke Skywalker. He he is Star He is Star Wars. This guy. This guy is Star Wars, ladies and gentlemen. And Mark Hamill, even though he's in his 70s now, just gave us a major, major update on his future with the franchise. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for coming back here to Echo Base Network, where we cover all things Star Wars. We hold Lucasfilm accountable, demanding a return to great Star Wars, and we celebrate it when it is good. So Mark Hamill doesn't expect to return in Ray's new Jedi Order movie. Now, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, he may or may not be a Force ghost in the movie. Now, one thing that Mark Hamill did say is that he wouldn't be able to tell us even if he was. That time has not yet come. There's been intense speculation Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker will return in Rey's new Jedi Order movie, but Hamill doesn't think it will happen. Back at Star Wars Celebration 2023, Lucasfilm unveiled plans for future Star Wars movies set across the entire timeline. From the dawn of the Jedi 25,000 years before the prequel trilogy to an upcoming film exploring Rey's new Jedi Order... 15 years after the sequels. There's been intense speculation Ray will be assisted by Force Ghosts, allowing Mark Hamill to reprise the role of Luke Skywalker once again. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, Hamill had the following to say, No, I don't have any expectations of that happening. Pretty blunt response there, coming from Mark Hamill. So one has to ask himself, is Mark Hamill's run as Luke Skywalker in Star Wars in, in any way? Is it over? Has he moved on? Just a few days ago, Mark Hamill even expressed support for a recasting of the character of Luke Skywalker rather than continuing the use of deep fakes like they did in The Mandalorian. The timing of his comment to The Hollywood Reporter then really does seem to imply he believes his Star Wars journey is coming to an end. In the same interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he discusses the emotional filming of Star Wars The Last Jedi and describes the sense of closure he felt, saying, Well, the whole thing was emotional because when I read Episode 8, I knew it was over. So I was relishing every moment but also saying goodbye to all those people that I had associated with over the years. So I still miss them. The clear implication is that he sensed the finality of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Viewed through that perspective, endless cameos and returns would deny this and just drag things out rather than embrace this closure. And that's coming to us from Screen Rant. So they're basically twisting this narrative saying Mark Hamill will not be back as Luke Skywalker. This is his closure. He is done. But another one of his quotes that he recently said, One thing you learn working for Lucasfilm, everything is confidential. Everything is confidential. So if I were involved, I wouldn't be able to tell you. And if I were not involved, I wouldn't be able to tell you. So I don't know. We'll all find out together, I guess. Now that quote right there is a really interesting quote. My man Mark Hamill saying, hey, I may be involved and I just can't tell you. Like, I know for me, I don't really care so much about the Ray movie uh, at all. <laughs> I, I would all I would be definitely about a Luke Skywalker show, a Luke Skywalker series, uh, deep faking him, letting Mark Hamill be involved, letting doing it just like you did in Mandalorian. One thing that I do know is that Mark Hamill loves his fans. He's even watched some of our videos. He's liked our comments on Twitter. We love you, Mark, and we would like to see you back. Uh, in the Mandoverse. What that means, Mark, is that we would like to see you in Filoni's movie. That's where we want to see you. Do I want to see you in the Ray Disney sequel trilogy uh, continuation? 
no, I, I leave that mess alone. You've already been through that, Mark. The fans are behind you 100%. Let's see you where you belong, kicking butt and taking names in the Mandoverse, led by Favreau and Filoni. That's where I would like to see you. Uh, viewers of this video, let me know in the comments what you think. Where do you want to see him? Do you take his his comments, you know, do you take him at his word, or is he kind of playing the middle here? Or is this just pure smokescreen, and he's going to be in the movie regardless? So let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for being here at Echo Base Network. Uh, had a great time at the Star Wars Icon Convention uh, this past weekend. I got to meet Ula Femi Taylor. It was just amazing. So we'll be talking about that and more in our next live stream. We love you guys. We are, you are Echo Base Network. May the force be with you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.